Okay, I'm going to show you uh, two different ways to do a, a glitter edge or a border or glitter stroke on some text. First of all, file, new, blank file. In uh, On the internet, like Tumblr, most of the things are measured in pixels. And there's a reason for that. The internet uses very low resolution because there's a lot of stuff on it. And if you had something like a 6 by 4 inch regular photograph, like of your friends, and you put that on the internet, it would be about half the size of a bed sheet. So everything you put on the internet, use very small sizes, because once it's on the internet, it kind of like gets magnified. It looks a lot bigger. So for our file, I'm going to use a file that's 500 pixels wide. Change the units to pixels. 350 pixels high, which is a little high. We'll crop it at, at the end. With a resolution of only 72, color mode is RGB color, and the background is transparent. And then click OK. I'm going to pull it off of here because I don't like it stuck up there. Okay, next you need a good font. Click the text tool. I already have a fat font selected here just so that you can see what I'm doing. That's a fairly large size. It's 100 points. And I'm going to start it right in the middle. Now I'm just going to type. Whoops. Hello. Now, problem with black. A lot of the background color of the glitter shows through. So generally you do not want black. So I'm going to pick, I love bright colors, so I'm going to pick purple. So that's going to end up being my background color. And I'm going to commit by clicking the green check mark. Next, take your magic wand tool. Make sure contiguous up here is unchecked. And just click once and all the letters become selected. Go to select, modify, contract. And this is where your, you know, the undo button becomes your best friend because how much you contract the selection depends on how big the font is that you're using. So, um, I'm just going to use four. And uh, if you have a smaller font that's not this fat, you might even use two or three. Okay, now what we're going to do here is we're going to select the uh, color for the letters. And I'm going to use aqua and use the paint bucket tool. It's, that's just telling me that this is a text or a graphics layer and I need to simplify it. Just click OK. There we go. That's the color. Now, I can control D to get rid of the selection. Take the magic wand, and you might have to use the magnifying glass to zoom in a little bit so you can see the edge. Take the magic wand tool, click to select the edge. In my zoom, there we go. Now, everything's ready to add the glitter. But we need more than one. We need more than one uh, layer. You need to make an even number of layers, and that'll become. Let's just do four. You can do four. You can do six. And we're going to poke the eyes out of all the layers except the very bottom one, and click on it to highlight it. We're going to we work from the bottom going up. You can work from the top down too, but. Bottom up is usually how we work. First layer, second layer, third, fourth, etc. Go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. Monochromatic here at the bottom is unchecked. Excuse me. And what we're going to do is we're going to switch back and forth between Uniform and Gaussian. We're going to leave this the same, the number the same. I set it at around 100. The amount is about 100. It doesn't have to be exact. This is 101.55. And the first one says uniform, and I click OK. Poke the eye of the second one, click on it, go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise, click Gaussian this time, and click OK. Third layer, click the eye to make it visible, click the layer to activate it, Filter, Noise, Add Noise, Uniform again. Click OK. Very last layer at the top. Click to show the eye. Click on the layer to highlight it. Filter. 
noise, add noise, back to Gaussian. Okay, now we're basically done. Control D to get rid of the collection. Go up to File, Save for Web. And you'll get this whole new workspace. Click the Animate box. Come down here. For now, you can leave the frame delay at 0.02. If you want it faster, you can change it to 0.01. If you want it slower, you can change it. I wouldn't change it to 0.05. That's too slow. But watch. When you're using this, you can click in it and you can change it to another number. You can type in the number you want. You don't have to just use the numbers that's in the list. Come down here to this button that looks like the little world. That's for your internet, your browser. Preview in. If you click on it, it previews in your browser and you can see it glittering now. Okay? That's how you make a glittering edge. Now, another way you can do this. Let's cancel. If I click OK, it just goes to the Save As. You can save it. Another thing I can do is let's undo this and one more and one more. I'm just going to use the purple and make it glitter. Go to filter, whoops, go to filter, texture, grain. And you'll see there are two sliders here, intensity, contrast, there's a grain type. Select from the drop down, select sprinkles. And then I just move these around. I put one high and one low and the next one low and the next one high. And you do that for every one. Go to filter, texture, grain. And I'll move this one up a little and this one down here. You just want to make them a little different. Click the next eye, filter, texture, green, and you can move both of them down here, it doesn't matter, and click, filter, texture, green, and I'll move this one up and leave that one. Okay, now we're done. Control D. Go to File, Save for Web, click the Animate box to check mark it. We've got a frame rate of 0.02, that seems to be okay. Preview in, click the little world icon. And now you have, and you can see this one glitters and moves a lot more. You can see how this one works. And you could, you could make it thicker. I left a lot of white space around it. You know, just with the intensity, move the intensity slider up higher than I had it. So, this looks a little rough because, well, I wanted you to see it, number one. Okay, that's two ways to make a glitter edge. If you have any questions, you just ask again.